A trifle is a great centerpiece dessert and we've got a showstopper for you. This one has the flavors of barbecued mango and coconut. So first of all, I need to make the pavlova or meringue bases. Put down some baking paper and I want to trace the edge of the trifle dish. Draw another circle inside that about two centimeters inwards because what's going to happen as the meringue cooks, it's going to expand. So first of all, we're going to just go in with our egg whites into a stand mixer. And we're going to whisk those to soft peaks and then we're going to gradually add our sugar, just a tablespoon at a time. Okay, so the meringue has been whipped to stiff peaks. You can test that the sugar is dissolved, like rub it between your fingers and you'll see that there's no sugar crystals. And now we're going to gradually add the corn flour, the kaffir lime and the vinegar. So that's all been incorporated now. Using the two circles we drew, make sure you get it in the inner circle and divide the meringue between the two. And then just use a spatula or a spoon to just push them out, just so they're as round as you can get them. So we're going to bake these for about an hour to an hour and 20 at 120 degrees and we're going to let them cool in the oven with the door slightly ajar so they cool down gradually. We're going to make our mascarpone coconut mixture. So for that we just need to get some water and sugar. Now you are going to need a sugar thermometer for this but it is totally worth it because we need to ensure that the sugar comes up to 121 degrees. That way when we pour it into the egg mixture it's going to completely cook the eggs and it's going to make a really nice smooth mixture. You can stir a sugar syrup before it's boiling, but definitely not after because you might crystallize it. In with your thermometer and we wait. So the sugar's almost at 121 degrees, so we can whip up our eggs. Okay, so the eggs are thick and pale, sugar's at 121. Start whisking again and gradually add the sugar mixture. And now we're going to whisk this for about 10 minutes until the mixture's cool. The mixture's cooled down completely, you can feel the side of the bowl. We're going to gradually add the mascarpone while the whisk is going at the same time and then we're going to add the coconut cream. So that's mixed through and now we can just fold through that coconut cream. And now just chill this mixture until you're constructing the trifle. So this is a barbecued mango trifle, so we're going to do just that. Barbecue some mangoes. Alternatively, if you don't have a barbecue, you can do them on a grill inside or a flat fry pan as well. So I've just got some caster sugar. And if you just take a cheek of a mango and dip it in the caster sugar, and you'll see it's completely covered in the caster sugar, we can go straight into either your barbecue hot plate or a fry pan in the kitchen. So they keep their shape because you've still got the skins on. Now just remove them and cool them on the cooked side up and just repeat that with the remaining mangoes. So for the mangoes that are going in the middle of the trifle, you want to take off the skins obviously. So just use a really wide spoon, grab one of the cooled mangoes and just go under the skin and you can quite easily edge out the flesh. So now we've come to the main event, the assembly of the trifle, which is all important because the trifle is all about the look and the layers. So first of all, I'm going to take some of that cooled mascarpone mixture and reserve about a cup of it. And this is going to be for our top. And we're going to take one of our meringues and carefully take it off. It's going to go inside the trifle without breaking it. It's, it's a trifle, you know, eaten mess, pav. The crumble look is good anyway. You can push it down a bit. And we'll go with half of our mascarpone mixture. So embrace the cracks and push that pav down just so it goes all the way to the bottom. And now we're just gonna layer in those mangoes which we took the skin off. Try and get them against the edge so you can see that mango profile and the color. And just now top with the remaining of that mascarpone. And now top it with the second meringue, carefully again. It's okay if it cracks because we're going to push it down anyway. And now after you crush that down, just top with that final bit of reserved mascarpone mixture. And we'll top it with some more of those barbecued mangoes. And finally, some shaved coconut. And there it is. This trifle is definitely a spectacular way to end a meal. For this recipe and more, head to delicious.com.au.